In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the difference between parenting objects, joining objects, and maybe even grouping objects. So what we have here is two separate objects in the scene. They both move independently of each other. And um, sometimes you want them to move together. And f so I right-click this one to be the child. That would be the first one. Then I right-shift and right-click this one. And they're both selected, then I press Control p and I parent it to the object. So now this one being the parent, if I grab this, this object follows. But they're still two distinct separate objects like this. And for instance, the center of one, if you remember from moving your origin, is in here. But maybe I want my center to be somewhere between these two for whatever reason. Alright, so I'll come over here and I'll right click this and I'll clear the parent with pressing Alt p so I've cleared the parent. And then instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to join these objects. And so I'll select them both. And then down here on object, just right up here, Control J, join. Like this. And now they are the same object. Right? I can click one, but there's this, uh, either one, whatever I click, they're the same. And they just say uh, the name of the object is, well, we're going to give it a new name. joined object like that and so now when but now I have an issue with this center of my object here let me go into uh, wireframe right in here is there is my object center right there like that but maybe I don't want my object center to be there because sometimes you want to rotate it on a different location you can actually move your say your cursor to there in the scene like that change this down here for your pivot and I can say pivot on the 3D cursor, so now I press R, Z, and then it rotates around just like that. But if I just use the, uh, there's the active element like this, I press R, Z, notice it rotates around there, or I can use the median point, and R, Z, and it still rotates around there, but I want it to rotate somewhere maybe around the middle of those two like that. And so in that case, th this point isn't going to work unless, of course, I go into edit mode. And then when you're in edit mode, you can take the whole thing, you can move this here like this. This kind of gives you an idea. And there's the center point of my object, even though it's not there, I'll get, get out of edit mode, and then it's here. So now when I press R, Z, now I'm rotating around this point like this as joined objects. All right. Okay. Well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.